So this is a interesting MRI of the brain of a 66 year old gentleman who presented with symptoms of Parkinson's including poor balance, shuffling of the feet and some difficulty with rigidity of the muscles, what we call cogwheel rigidity. The symptoms started several years ago and interestingly on this MRI one of the remarkable findings is the large fluid fill spaces called uh, lateral ventricles here in this case or in this area and also the third ventricle here. These fluid fill spaces are larger than you would expect uh, especially uh, with the mild or moderate degree of shrinkage of the brain you wouldn't expect this enlargement of the ventricle as we see here. Uh, there is a condition called normal pressure hydrocephalus which uh, means that uh, the patient has had accumulation of spinal fluid, cerebral spinal fluid or CSF in the uh, center uh, core of the brain which uh, can in fact cause trouble with balance and Parkinsonian symptoms. It's thought that the mechanical pressure of the fluid filled spaces against the central fibers which are uh, very much involved in control of leg movements and also the bladder, sort of the core central fibers here, uh, can in fact cause the ataxia and the poor urinary frequency or uh, in fact uh, incontinence. Uh, now these patients can be amenable to uh, significant relief if you drain this uh, fluid and place a permanent shunt to continuously drain the fluid. So the uh, obvious question is, why does this happen? Well, it's thought that the normal channels lining the brain, called arachnoid villi, that normally drain the spinal fluid back into the cerebral sinuses, which drain it back into the venous structures and to the heart, are clogged up in a sense due to calcification and age. And so the fluid backs up and uh, as a result causes those Parkinsonian symptoms. Interestingly, this patient did have a spinal tap to relieve the excess fluid without any significant improvement in symptoms. So there remains a question of whether he in fact has this condition called NPH. Uh, the NPH can lead to memory loss and mimic symptoms of uh, uh, Alzheimer's as well. So um, that is a question that we need to answer. Uh, from a radiology perspective, this angle, called the colossal angle, may in fact be uh, an indication for this condition. It's normally measured at the anterior commissure level, and if it's above 59, it's usually thought to be normal. In this case, it's 110. Now, if you measure it in a different region, such as here, more posteriorly, you do get numbers in the uh, NPH range, like 60, but uh, standardized uh, is to be measured here. Other findings that are interesting on the axial flare are the microvascular ischemic changes that we see here due to a chronic history of high blood pressure and cholesterol. We also see, interestingly, uh, a little bit of hyperintensity here in the pons, which some, in some way can approach what we call the bun cross sign. It's an interesting finding that uh, if in fact it uh, is there can be associated with a type of Parkinson's syndrome called multi-system atrophy. Now in this case we don't really see that clearly. It usually is far more clear. It looks just like a cross on a bun. So uh, regardless these findings are interesting. It can explain patients Parkinson's symptoms. Now, you may, uh, this patient may also be suffering from a variant of Parkinson's disease, uh, which is more likely since he did not respond to the shunt. Nevertheless, this is something we look for because, in fact, it can be a reversible condition for uh, memory loss and urinary incontinence and ataxia or poor balance. Thank you.